The term apraxia comes from Greek, where a means without, praxis means action. So apraxia means without action. And it describes a phenomenon where a person is unable to carry out skilled movements or gestures where they were able to do so beforehand. Sometimes you hear the term dyspraxia used, which describes the same phenomenon only in a milder form. Our understanding of what apraxia is comes from the work of the German neurologist Hugo Karl Lippmann in 1900. He described three types of apraxias, idiomotor apraxia, ideational apraxia, and limb kinetic apraxia. Idiomotor apraxia referred to the inability to perform a single movement, whilst ideational apraxia referred to the inability to perform a sequence of movements. In contrast, limb kinetic apraxia refers to the loss of movement precision and the use of the correct movement for the correct action. Dr. Lippmann attributed apraxia to lesions in the left hemisphere. However, we now know that apraxia can also occur with right hemispheric lesions. In fact, since Dr. Lippmann's work, the world of neuroscience evolved rapidly. So how did our understanding of apraxia change since 1900? And what does it mean for the way we assess and treat our clients? Join me on a seminar series to examine this very topic. I look forward to seeing you there.